Hi again, this is Carrie coming back at you at uh, the Fifth Element Brewery. And I'm just uh, redoing some of my pump uh, configurations. I was having a lot of problems with uh, it's called cavitation. Uh, we've read about that before. Basically, the head gets full of air, and any any wart coming out of here will get caught, and it just doesn't get into the, the chiller. And you see the chiller right there, and then I, I have a loop back right now. Um, this is from an older setup. I just haven't had a chance to uh, quite tweak this out. But now I'm going to show you what I did. I put a T. This is the out. I put a T right here. And this will open up. And trust me, I know, I know this isn't right uh, as far as safety goes. So this is just for demonstration. I'm going to actually get a three-way valve right here. It kind of eliminates everything right here. So um, the idea is... When you open up the valve up here, the water's going to immediately flow to the to pump. Okay, so that's all well and good. Hot water acts a lot different than cold water, obviously. It's excited and everything, so it'll get caught in here, create an air pocket. So I, what I did is, I'm, again, I moved this so you can see the end. It is still horizontal. I haven't done the vertical pump yet. I'll try that next time. Right now I'm just going to try this. Okay, so you go down to this valve, it's going to open, and when I open it, I'm going to have water come out. Okay, so I let that get a good stream and then I shut it off. By the way, the water's not hot, <laughs> it's just warm. So, and then I'll open this valve, and I realize it's not, this is not set up right, so no hate mail please. And then as I hit the uh, pump, it, it, it immediately, I mean, there's, there isn't any, and you can see, I've got a rather large pump head on here. The, I changed out the uh, the pump mechanism, so this thing might not even need this valve, but I was having so much trouble. So, yeah, this is a proof of concept. What I'll do is I'll, I'll just shut this off, and I'll shut the valve. What happens is you shut it off at the source. Now you're going to create an air cavity. So I'll bleed out, other than bleeding out all the water that's in the system above, above the system here. So this is all coming out from the, the chiller. So now that's completely empty. So I should have lots of cavitation. Sorry about the video there. I'm trying to hold the camera and shoot the video. So now back, I'm going to open this valve again. And this, this pump might work. And, and again, um, I have another advantage that this. Uh, the chiller is completely full of water, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, the water doesn't have to push the air out of the chiller. So, I'll try it again. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'll just pause for a minute. Okay, so I'm back. What I did, I just, for shits and giggles, I, I decided to empty the uh, the chiller here. So it's a plate chiller. It's a due to diesel. I believe it's a 30 plate. It does a really good job. But now, I've, I've pretty much vacated all the water out of the system. Actually, I'm going to turn this down because this is so so much water. It would it's just amazing. So um, I've opened the valve. Now I have a lot of air. When I turn this on, uh, open I'll open this uh, over here. So now uh, you can see the water kind of rushing in. But will it pump? It may it may do it. Yeah, it sure does it well. Okay, so it does it because I've I've been messing with it. But uh, this is the way to get rid of. Your cavitation, um, what you would do, put a hose on this and into to a bucket, uh, collect your work down there into a bucket, and then um, you would recycle that, you know, back into the work. Basically, this will probably get rid of any problems you have. I didn't have to mount the pump vertically. I'm, I'm going to try it out. I will try to get a three-way valve tomorrow. This is just a proof of concept. So actually, it does work. I highly recommend your first pump in your system. Upgrade that to the bigger impeller. You can get the, the large impellers for about 25, 30 bucks. Highly worth the effort to um, upgrade that pump. On the other on the other hand, here's the, uh, the checker pump. It has a smaller pump head and I was having problems with that. So I, I just switched the pump out because the trigger is going to just push water from the chiller. So then basically this is a, a really, really um, basic setup. Sorry about that. But uh, I do have a Blickman burner, Blickman kettle. I do have a 
a plate chiller. Everything works, so you know that's all that really counts. Make great beer. So hey, thanks for watching. Hope that this uh, video helped you guys out. Bye bye.